And we're back. So, let's see how this turned out. Huh? The colours always seem to intensify a little bit after you've let it cure. I don't know why. If anyone has an idea, feel free to comment below. So, this is always a surprise. Oh, there you go. And... Uh, Ta-da! Fancy. Green, pink, monstrosity. This looks a little bit like the belly of some jungle snake. <laughs> Alright, off to the painting. Alright, so the first layer is applied. As you can see, I brought the green a bit into the pink and the pink a little into the green where it could. This is a rough idea of where the colours will go. And now that the base colours are set, tomorrow morning when this is properly dry, we can move on to um, the shine. See you tomorrow. And there it is, all ready to go. Now what I did not show you yesterday is um, that I mix it with my thinner of choice. Which is, um, I don't know how you call that in English. I think it's medicinal gasoline or something. Use it to clean wounds. Uh, naphtha and other paint thinners work as well. However, I found this to be the cleanest. Um, as in it's leaving less residue than the paint thinners I have readily available here. Now, I can't really talk to you as I paint because I need to wear... Um, a breather, because this stuff stinks like hell, you will not believe. And, but this is how it goes. I use about one to one. One part mixed silicone and one part thinner medium. If you do too much, obviously you get a too thin of a liquid and very little silicone on your, on your scales and your prosthetic. If you use too little, it'll dry up and clump. So it really all comes down to finding the right mixture for you. All right, let's get cracking. And we're back. After many layers and many hours of waiting, I think I'm done for the moment with this one. Now let's see how that color change works, shall we? Got some nice pinks here, a few purples. It's fun how it reacts with the green. I did not see this coming. And, ooh, nice blue. I like that. And we have some green. The camera doesn't pick it up on the pink very well, but you get an idea. And what happens on the other side? Simply starts all over again. And back. <laughs> this is fun. Let me try the other lighting. All right, this is with artificial light. As you can see, the colors have already changed. This is much greener. And there's almost a golden tint to the pink scales now. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun, guys. I love sharing this with you. And here it comes to darker green. Well, as you can see, I think this tail is going to look very different depending on where you are, with what lighting, and so forth. I cannot wait to see how this turns out. I'll see you next time.